tale of the talents. Knowing that he would soon be leaving his disciples and going away for a long, long time, Jesus tried to give them all the good advice he could so that they would know what to do while he was gone. That is why he told them a story of the ten sleepy girls. He wanted them to be ready always for his return. But just being ready was not enough. They must make the most of their lives, serving God faithfully every day and using every chance to tell others of his love. To make this plan, Jesus told another story. This was about a merchant who went on a long, long trip into a faraway country. Before leaving, this man called three of his servants and handed each of them a certain amount of money to every man according to his several ability to use it. To one he gave five talents, to the another two talents, and to the third one talent. Then, after urging each to do his best, he went on his journey. The man with the five talents started to work at once, buying and selling until he had made his five talents ten. The man with two talents did the same. Only he didn't earn quite so much. Even so, he made a 100% gain, so that his two talents become four. But the man with the one talent merely dug a hole in the ground, buried his talent, and took life easy. He told his friends that he didn't see why he should work while the boss was away on a vacation. By and by, the merchant returned and called his servants to account for the money he had entrusted to them. The first came and told how he had traded the five talents and earned five more. Well done, good and faithful servant, said the master. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Then the second servant told what he had done. Master, he said, you gave me two talents. Here are two more. Well done, good and faithful servant, said the master. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Lastly, the the one talent man come to report he was surely sort of fellow. Master, he said, I know you were kind of man who just makes profit out of others men's work. So I buried your old talent here it is take it and you, and you can have it back at this time the merchant was very upset you wicked and lazy servant he said why didn't you at least put my money in a bank so i could have gained interest on it then he added take the talent from this man and give it to the man with the ten talents and throw this worthless servant outside in the dark there is a lesson here for all of us the merchant in this story is Jesus. He was gone away to a far country. And to each of his disciples, he has given talents according to his ability. Some five talents, some two, some only one. But he expects all to use them the best they know how. Someday, when he will return, he is going to us as what we have done with all the good gifts he has given us. Oh, but you say he never gave me any money. Maybe not. But money is not the only talent. Your voice is a talent with the power to talk and sing. Your brain is talent with the power to think and plan. Your hands are a talent with the power to write, to play music, to do good to the needy. Stop a moment right now and count your talents. You will probably find that you have more than five talents, maybe ten, and Jesus wants you to use them all to his glory. Perhaps you are saying, but I've only got one talent. All right, just don't bury it. Make the most of it. Use it and watch it grow. It's not the number of talents we have that matters, but how faithful we are using them. Jesus wants us to be faithful in all that which is least, the few things, the little things we do for him. And when the day of reckoning comes, how happy you will be. Hear Jesus say to you, well done, good and faithful servant. That well done said with a smile and handshake, 
will be reward enough for anything any of us ever did for him. So this is an example of our faithfulness to Jesus.